Roomba, 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 Roomba. What is the difference between a pile of dead babies and a pile of Roombas? I don't have a pile of dead babies. <laughs> you guys remember dead baby jokes? I don't think they were ever funny. It was just who could be the most disgusting. I've got a whole bunch of Zumbas left over from our robot vacuum cleaner competition. <laughs> oh! <laughs> and I have to figure out what to do with them. In today's episode, we're going to try and find a new purpose for some of our robot vacuum cleaners. William, why don't you clean your house with them? Half of them don't work. I don't know why. I clean them with water. That's how you're supposed to clean things. I cannot imagine why. If you have any suggestions as to how to fix them, please leave a comment in the comment section down below. The big problem right now is some of the Roombas have started fornicating. What? I don't have enough space in this house for even more Roombas. My guess is, is you guys have some really good ideas. So let's head on down to Twitter and look at a thread that I posted back in December. I've got a bunch of Roombas now. Give me ideas, please. There's a whole lot of replies to this tweet. So I think let's just go ahead and look at some of the verified replies because someone whose Twitter account has been verified is usually much more well-informed, smarter, better looking, and you should value their opinions. The first idea is from Jack Septicai, a throne that sits on Roombas. Thank you, Jack. <laughs> A throne that sits on Roombas. Ta-da! I hope you're right, Jack. I hope this is a good idea. It was a bad idea. Maybe this is a little bit just of an anomaly. Maybe another verified account will have a good idea. A Roomba that will catch on fire if you fail to clean it. I don't really know what I'm doing. I mean, this is kind of supposed to be a joke. I don't know, maybe the verified mark means literally nothing. Put them on a drone and see if they can eat a cloud. You may know Eric from Internet Comment Etiquette or Salvia Eric on the internet when it was first created back in 2007. Ta-da! Hey Eric, I couldn't get it to work. It's like they won't eat the cloud? No, I can't. The Roomba's too heavy. Is there any way to make the Roomba's lighter? Is there anything in there that makes it move around you don't need anymore because it's on a drone? I, I could try that. That's a good idea. Take two. Go, 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 go. Well, good news, Eric, is we ate all the clouds. There's not a single cloud left in the sky. <laughs> I made a pie chart. Check it out. 100% of the ideas are bad ideas. It's a pretty small sample size, so for reliable results, we should attempt a couple more ideas. And if we can't find something that works, we're gonna try one of my ideas. I've made a song for this portion of the video, but I wanna make it clear that I'm not gonna have this high of a production value every single time I post a video. Your ideas are really bad, but in the name of science, we're gonna try some more. Sneak them into your neighbor's house, that's a bad idea. Roomba shoes, bad idea. Roomba skates, bad idea. Roomba stack, bad idea. Off-road cleaning, bad idea. $10 a dollar store supplies to make a Roomba survive a fall off a two-story house. I kinda like that idea. Start farming and breeding them, bad idea. Roomba frisbee, bad idea. And that is the end of the bad ideas. And now we have a complete and robust data set for our analysis. I have good news and I have bad news. Which news do you want first? Which news do you want first? We're doing the story of the Explorer style! Which news do you want first? The good news. The good news is I didn't have to make a second pie chart because all your ideas are still bad, but they're not bad enough to be good. That's what I'm saying. I want them to be <laughs> redeemingly bad. Like they're so bad that they're good, but all you guys have given me is they're so bad that they're bad. You know what I'm saying? Is that too much to ask? Like it's gotta be a bad idea so that it's a good idea. Like, like, 
a bicycle, but the wheels are Roombas. You see what I'm saying? Like it's a bike and the wheels are Roombas. Roombas are round, wheels are round. You just take the wheels away and you put the Roombas in. Like that's a good idea because it's a bad idea. I, does this make any sense? I found a bike at the park the other day for free. A free bike. That's great news. Hey, look, a bike. What kind of idiot just leaves a free bike in a park? The previous owner of this bike stuck too big of a rim on it. So when I was inflating it, it exploded and scared the crap out of me. Yeah, I think that's gonna look great. Don't need this anymore. <laughs> We're at an undisclosed parking lot for the first test. This is just the front wheel. We've got our Pro Scenic V Slam 811 gigabytes. You might be wondering, William, how did you attach the Roomba to the bike? Well, it's very simple. I drilled a hole in it and then stuck a bolt through it. It's working! Ah! So dust collector's broken. I think we need to make some revisions. It says wear a helmet. Where? Just, Where is it? Right here. I just read it, now I'm like scared to ride it. All right, now you I'm feel, fine. You feel better? Yeah, I'm better. I feel like this only ends good if I break something. What are you scared of? Breaking something. <laughs> the only way this ends is if I break something. That's all, it, I have to fall for this to end. No, it, it we I can't it. just ride it. This isn't the end of the video. I'm gonna replace the back wheel with a Roomba too. I know, but where does it end? <laughs> where does what we're doing right now end with me? In editing, I'll figure it out. You're gonna figure it out? It ends right here, Alex. Front wheel works, dust collector pops off. We just gotta put a little bit of tape, I think, to keep the dust collector on. And we'll put the, the back wheel on right now. Front wheel was easy. This back wheel is going to be significantly more tricky because it has a sprocket on it. Perfect, 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 perfect. We don't need this garbage anymore. We need this absolute treasure. Yes, yes. How much effort am I actually gonna put into an idea like this? A lot? No, it's gonna break anyways, why would I try? I'm not saying this is a good idea, but it is my idea. One set of wood screws will hold it down. The other set, the tops, will push it up. I went to engineering school, do you guys know that? Bolt. Get in there. We're in a little bit of a pickle. The sprocket I picked for the back is too big. It means the chain is not long enough to fit. So you can see that it's cutting the bottom of the chain off. Come to a bike shop to get the chain extended by a couple links. Hello. Hi. I need to get the chain extended a couple links. So how are you gonna keep traction? I'm not trying to make a better bike. <laughs> yes. Let's get a good crank on the pedal. That is so good. Every time it comes around, it has to kick the wheels down. My favorite part, and what I'm the most proud of is, no, come over here, come in. The sprocket is held on with nothing but wood screws. There's wood screws on the bottom to space it off, and then wood screws on the top to hold it down. Oh, it works. It's working. Oh no. <laughs> the bumper oh, no. just exploded. I think that's fine. We'll just take that. Yeah. We'll throw it in the trash. Oh. We're gonna do an off-road test right now. It's working! I can't believe how well this works. I'm starting to feel a lot of a bump every time I go around. You wanna try? Okay. Oh, this is not cushioned for a female. Uh, don't you feel like you're just gonna fall over and crush it? Do it, send it, do it, send it. Oh my God. You see, I broke it. Cause I feel so uneven. You owe me a new bike. Fix it. I'm also noticing the hole for the axle is getting mighty big. <laughs> that doesn't work on me. Why not? Don't tell me what to do. The whole lid is off. Let's take it up and jump. Go! <laughs> I'm gonna pop off. Stop talking. I just wanna get one good jump in. <laughs> Ow. It looks like it's time to update our pie chart. 100% of the ideas are bad ideas. I don't think we've learned anything today. 
This video was brought to you by Raycon and their E25 wireless earbuds. Let me show you what is inside of the box. You've got this cute little blue pill. This is your charging case. The case can charge the headphones four times, each charge six hours. Four times six is 24. You can do the math yourself. I will show you how easy it is to pair these. I hate Bluetooth. Bluetooth is usually a pain. These are very easy. You open the case, you go to your phone, you select Raycon in the Bluetooth settings. It says, you wanna pair? I say, okay, and look at that, it's paired. It's that easy, you can start listening to music. 24 hours, very good sounds. I like them a lot, half the price of competing earbuds. If you are considering getting wireless earbuds or you're tired of ripping the cables out of your headphones, buy Raycons. If you're thinking about it, buy them. I like them, you will like them. For 15% off, go to buyraycon.com slash William. Damage report, if we look at the back wheel, it is all over the place. That ain't right. It's just slowly wearing the plastic more and more and more. Is that the end of the video? I think that's the end of the video.